Hi, Youth Mappers. This is Patricia Solis. I'm the director and a co-founder of Youth Mappers, sending our greetings to you during this time of unprecedented health concerns. We know that our university chapters from around the world are working to make a better world by mapping it. And you may be asking yourself, what can I do to make sure that in this uh, pandemic that we're all experiencing globally, that um, our communities know where to go in case they need help? So here's where you get to use your skills in mapping, and I'll show you how. First of all, go to OpenStreetMap, and you'll want to log in with your username and password. Then navigate to a site called healthsites.io. This helps us edit the map to add health sites everywhere around the world. Click on Edit the Map. What you'll want to do is make sure that you're signed in up here to search a particular location. Uh, you can use the geolocate me, or you can actually just navigate to some place that you are very familiar with, ideally some place close to where you live uh, or, or where you have lived in the past. So I'm going to navigate over here to Coronado, Panama, and make sure that the clinic that we go to here is on the map. Sure enough, there it is, I find it. It's the San Fernando Clinic. So I wanna double check to make sure that all of the information that they have in this OpenStreetMap system is accurate and correct. That they need the address updated, the phone number, operating hours, and other kinds of things that perhaps you know or don't know. Please do not edit anything that you don't know for sure from personal knowledge or you can validate and verify. I happen to have been here several times, and I know that it is on, the address is Avenida Roberto Eisman. I also happen to know that daily hours are from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. So I can add that information, be something that I know from personal experience, and I also know from personal experience that they have an emergency department and they do conduct MRIs. Other than that, I don't have a lot of other information, so I'm not going to fill this out. I know that it is a private hospital, private clinic, and that's all I can say. So I will save this information. So now I can be sure that this information is available to everyone who uses OpenStreetMap. Now let's see if the pharmacy that we go to just down the road from here is on the map. It looks like it is not. Here's where the pharmacy should be located, right here on the corner. But that's not a feature that is designated on the map as a health site. So I'm going to add a new one. When I click add new, I get this symbol that I can put right on the location. Then I will enter the name. This is Farmacias Arrocha, and it is a pharmacy. I don't know the address, but I do know that this is open every day from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. I can put the hours right in here. So I can indicate that it is a pharmacy. And if it is a pharmacy, I can indicate that yes, it does dispense prescriptions, and it is a private business. Now I can save this information and it will go right onto OpenStreetMap and in healthsites.io. Now that that's done, I want to share this on Twitter. Please do this. Make sure you're logged in. I just helped at Youth Mappers, so you tweet at us, add health provider data to at OpenStreetMap, to tweet at OpenStreetMap. At share health data to save lives. And it'll put the locality that you put into the map. If you want to create a link to this video, add the bit.ly link, B-I-T-L-Y 
slash map for COVID-19. And then sweet, that's it Youth Mappers. Thank you for being a part of the answer and the response to the coronavirus outbreak. We really appreciate all you do to map a better world.